morning everyone you are on Chakarudi's channel and if you stay tuned you're going to see his daily life and his life on the road and yep that's right I'm his son and I hope you enjoy Good morning everyone. We welcome you into today's show. Sunday the 14th of June it is. Oh yeah. We are in Terrace Bay, Ontario again. We are leaving right now anyways. Oh yeah. And it is foggy again. I don't know what it is about this area, but it must be uh, the lake that we got just down the road from here. That's probably why it is so foggy. Yep. And it is actually drizzling here a little bit. Just like what it was doing last week. I come through here but that's okay we got ourselves a good day worth of driving in last night or yesterday I meant to say we made it up to here and had 15 minutes left on the logbook <laughs> so we didn't have a whole lot of time left but all that matters, we made it. So now the goal for today is to make it up to Winnipeg. What do you want, four-wheeler? Yeah, so that's the goal for today. We have to live, deliver there tonight. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. This is pretty foggy. This, this is worse than what it was last week. But no matter what, we're still going to try and have a good day, no matter what. So let's get down the road and have ourselves a fine day. Here we are. We just went through uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Yeah. Now we are back on highway, uh, you know, this is supposed to be 17, but 11 and 17 run together here for a little while, so. But yeah, so we are through Thunder Bay. That's for sure, and the sun is out. It's nice and sunshine again. Drizzle and fog has disappeared. Oh yeah. Enjoy it man, it's nice and sunny. Absolutely gorgeous day out here today again. Oh yeah. Just finished watching uh, Trucker Jukebox's video there about his uh, not liking it too much there with the thumbs down, but I totally feel your pain, brother totally do I get that every once in a while too where I get me a couple of thumbs down on the video and some people don't care you know some people they just I don't know what sparks them or whatever but for some reason it just they were having a bad day or something and I guess you didn't say the right thing to them or or whatever you want to say it. 
or you didn't show the exact right thing that they would like to see and and they just give you a thumbs down that's just the way it goes some people are that way you know they're they're really quick to to put the th uh, tread mouse on the uh, thumbs down click you know but the more popular we are going to get the more thumbs down we will get but we will also get more thumbs up yeah so I try not to let it bother me but it does bother you you know I mean it really does you know you put so much time and effort and work into creating the video it also costs you money you have to buy a video editing program you have to spend a lot of time putting the video clips together to make them look good, you know. You try your darn near best to uh, to put them together really nicely for your, for the viewers, and then for somebody to go and put a thumbs down on it, it uh, it really bothers you, you know. But I try to ignore it, but sometimes it gets on my nerves a little bit too. But I never really say anything on video about it, but because I like to have a positive channel. If I can make somebody's day or make somebody smile that day, that's what I'm all about. I like to educate people, I like to show what not to do out here on the road. I like to give you guys sceneries. Oh yeah like to show you uh, my day like how my day is going sometimes sometimes I'm not having the best of days either but none of us are always having a good day so we get to see a little bit of everything you know but I always try to make the best of the day yep that's the way it is Anyways, let's continue on rolling down the road. And it's been a good day. We stopped in Nipigon, Ontario there uh, an hour and a half, two hours ago there, whatever it was. And we got ourselves a Tim Hortons cup of coffee. Yeah. Got ourselves a donut and a cup of coffee. Oh, that was, that was worth it, stopping in there and grabbing a cup of coffee. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Hey guys, we are on the phone here with Truck of Jukebox and he just stopped there at a truck stop there somewhere down the road and uh, he talked to a lady there at the counter by the name of Stephanie. So we want to give her a big shout out. She's going to subscribe to our channel, she promised. So we'll give her a good shout out. Stephanie, I'm Trucker Rudy and thank you for joining us on our today's vlog. Hope to see you down the road summer. Here we are coming into Dryden, Ontario. Yes, sir. -y. We are going to go make a pit stop up here at the Husky. Yep. Gotta take care of some business. Probably going to go grab me a sandwich. And then continue on rolling towards Winnipeg. Oh yeah! Got the Robin Donut here to the left. This is where the Husky is. I don't know what the heck they're doing up here now. Looks like they're fixing to do some construction up in here. I don't know, this boy's in here. He seems to be scared to drive today. I don't know. He's in. I don't know. Anyways, we'll go in here and then take care of some business and then we'll be seeing you in a little bit. Here we go, guys. We are in Headingley, Manitoba. On the west side of Winnipeg. We are going to go to the flying hook over here. We're going to go fuel the baby up. 
and then I am good to go again when I uh, turn left on Oak Forest Crescent. Direct road on route. You know when I am going to go back out, I am good to go. You know because I'm just delivering down here down the road. So that way I'm going to go fuel her up over here and then uh, deliver my load and go home. Well, our delivery is scheduled for 4 a.m. So. Anyways, let's go fuel her up and then uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alrighty guys, we finished fueling up. I was going to film it, but it started pouring rain when I climbed out of the truck. So we didn't uh, film it while I was fueling, but now oh, well, maybe next time. Anyways, I uh, put all the information into my uh, app there on how we did on fuel and we actually did not too bad again I've been doing over seven miles per gallon for the last 10 tanks full I am extremely happy oh yeah I love it I did 7.24 US miles per gallon I ain't gonna complain one little bit. Oh no. Right, now we're gonna At go down to the turn right on Portage Avenue, Highway 1. Customer and see if we can park there. If not, I think I'm gonna go to our terminal. Our terminal is really close by. So then I will probably go down to our terminal and uh, just sleep over there because that's really close by so, yeah alrighty guys we are finished for today we are calling it a day we are in Winnipeg at our delivery place oh yeah let me show you actually and the sun is still out here have a look at that we are back into the dock yeah but uh, we have to go to bed because uh, our uh, appointment here is at 4 a.m. so we gotta go to bed and uh, get up super early and hopefully the guys will be here there is nobody here right now but uh, hey I guess they don't want to work on the weekend, but we as truck drivers, we have to. Yep. Yeah. That's part of life. If you see a truck or tank them for delivering your load, because all the clothes, all the food, everything that you have has been delivered by a truck. I am pretty certain of that. But, uh, hey, that's my theory for today. I am signing out, and have a good one. We shall see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.